Hey guys, welcome back. Check out this video on Just Keep Going. Actually, the people that succeeded in business were not the brightest, mm, mm. they weren't the best looking, they were just the guys that kept going. That's they, right. had, they had this tenacious thing. He doesn't know how he's going to pay the bills, but he just keeps going. Yeah. He, he is absolutely resolute. He is almost stupid in his belief that this thing is going to work. And I think we need a bit more of that to just be imbued once again this sure. thing. All right, Kirby, I found this method to just never give up, keep pushing forward and just stick to the path step by step to always work out as long as you just keep going. As this video says, if you don't stop, if you don't give up and you continue to make an effort, at some point you will achieve what you're after, I believe, because you are constantly working towards it every single day. But I'll hand it off to you. I'm, the one thing that V said, and I like it, is you don't have to be the smartest. It's not the smartest people that's being successful. It's the people that keep going. It's not the best looking. I mean, I can't speak for Alex, but I'm ugly than a mug, right? <laughs> so the the thing is, is, is keep going. Like, there's nothing that we do in our day-to-day -day lives that you can't do with the eighth grade education. Not an 18th grade education, an 8th grade education. You don't even have to graduate high school to do what we do. When it comes to investing, you don't have to be sexy. You don't have to be smooth. You don't have to do all this extracurricular stuff. You could just invest in the S&P 500. When it comes to real estate, only thing you need to know is the cost, the numbers. You need to know how much your expenses are going to be every month. And could this property generate more rent than your expenses by a multiple? That's it. Add, subtract, divide, multiply. That's the only thing that you need to know. And you got to have the discipline to one, live on less than you make so you can acquire the capital. I mean, I know a lot of people on the internet is talking about raising funds and raising capital from other people, but I'm talking about people that's going to be self-sufficient and do it by themselves. You got to have the discipline to live on less than you make to build up the capital to start investing. To use that capital to start investing more. That's it. And then you just keep rinse and repeating. Every deal that I've done has not been a home run. Every stock that I invested in has not been a winner. But the fact that I keep going when I win, it outgains the losses. In real estate, do I have properties that Give me more headache than the other ones. Yeah. Do I have more expenses on some properties than I would like? Yes. But you just keep going. You keep striving. You keep pushing. Do I have to get rid of property managers because they're not operating? And then they're letting the tenants take over the, take over the unit and do what they want to do. Yes. Those things happen. But the reason why I reached the level of success that I did is because I kept going. I didn't stop every time it's roadblocks like, oh, well, let me just stop. Let me just forget it. Let me just start over or let me just quit doing this. I tackle the situation that there is and I keep going, keep going, keep going. Like, I mean, especially here in Florida, insurance didn't double, triple. Okay, you find ways to mitigate it. You do better deals. You go outside of your normal network. You go outside of your normal market to find deals and find processes and procedures to make sure you're buying deals at cash flow. But the key is to keep going. Most people, I see it all the time, especially in the investment world, they'll think they got the best stock on earth, the stock don't perform, and then they say, oh, no, I'm not investing in the stock market no more. It's like gambling. And then, they, and then next thing you know, they look up because they stopped, they quit, they sold, the, they sold for a loss. And then they look back and then the stock that they was looking at, it's up 200, 300%, you know, 20,000% in some cases. And they're like, oh man, what happened? What happened when you quit? You see it all the time in the cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency start going up, hitting record highs. Everybody and their mom jump in. Cryptocurrency goes down and then everybody sell for a loss. And then they quit. And they look back at it like, oh man, I remember when I was in it at 5,000. But you quit. The quitting is what makes you fail. Just like in stock investing, you only lose when you sell. 
Just keep going. It'll be okay, but you have to keep going. That's the only way you succeed. Yeah, absolutely. And those were good points too, where he mentioned it doesn't matter how you look, it doesn't matter you know, how smart you are. And I think these are qualities that society tells people that they have to have in order to be successful somehow in life. And it's not true at all. As you said, you don't even need a high school education for this. And the first thing I thought of when you said that is the, you know, the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, I believe his rich dad, what, had a sixth grade education and he amassed a, an enormous amount of wealth throughout his lifetime from just going, from just performing in business. And that's all it takes. It just takes someone that is relentlessly after their objective and trying to achieve their goal and not allowing for any any blocks that society says that you can that are okay to take a break from or you know i mean there's always things saying that society says take a break take a vacation you know it's okay or you know if this comes up life happens you know it's okay to just sit back and just deal with what's going on like you have to be prepared you have to look around the corner and always perform and always be um you know executing those points regardless of what comes up in life I think if you just keep going, you're or you're outworking everybody else that is maybe on that path or next to you on that path. Right. And when I come up with eighth grade education, because I need a real life example of somebody with the eighth grade education and and that is successful in business. Uh, Lumberjack Landlord, if anybody uh, have time to look him up on YouTube, he literally has an eighth grade education, but he has 137 doors and he retired at 46 years old from his W-2 job. Literally, eighth grade education. He's not ashamed to say it. Eighth grade education. Add, subtract, multiply, divide. That's all you need to win. You don't need an MBA, PhD. Hell, the biggest businesses in the world don't have MBAs and PhDs, the people that created those businesses. Mark Zuckerberg. I'm still waiting for him to get a BA. Steve Jobs, no degree. So you don't need that stuff to be successful. So stop conforming to what the world say you need to have and look at the facts, look at the numbers. Only thing that matters is numbers, perseverance, determination, and not quitting. That is the keys to success. That's the keys to winning. And that's the keys that will change your family situation. So that means said, guys, hit the like button. If you like this video, leave us a comment down below, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.